so why do we have so many different types of drones? If you think of cars and trucks, so they're all land vehicles, but they have different purposes. So you have 18 wheelers, you have race cars, you have everything in between. And FPV kind of leans into that race car category, but within the FPV world, the sizes range from very small all the way to very large, and it's all about lifting the right payloads. Like, let's say I wanted to fly a GoPro underneath someone's legs, but then in the next shot, we wanted to fly a Komodo at super high speeds, right? By arriving on a job with all these different types of platforms, depending on what a director has on the fly, we're able to execute those visions. And if you don't have the ability or the money to, you know, buy all these different platforms, it's really just comes down to managing expectations. You know, what are the limitations of that platform, what its weaknesses are, and what its strengths are, so that you can play to those strengths. And it's all about just finding the right tool for the right scenario. So yeah, if you found this helpful, follow for more drone content and explanations, and I'll see you in the next one.